Well, the police in Rochdale knew that Asian men had been grooming vulnerable young girls for sex since 2008 when a 15-year-old victim told them what had happened to her. But it took until May 2011 when Nazir Afzal was appointed chief crime prosecutor for the North West before the law did anything about it. Uh, Mr. Afzal says imported cultural baggage played a role in this terrible crime. Uh, the convicted men all thought that women are lesser beings. Or should the Pakistani community put its own house in order? It's a question that has been de debated one way or another uh, this week. And it's a question a lot of people are very uncomfortable with, Mohammed Shafiq. You think it's a fair question? Yes, I think it is. Uh, let's, let's look at the facts. The facts are that out of 77 recent convictions, 67 are Pakistani men. 80% of uh, sexual of, uh, offenders in terms of grooming, online grooming, are white. So we've got to put it in the context it is. Um, and in the week where we saw uh, nine people be convicted, we also saw eight people convicted in Edinburgh of child abuse, including rape of an 18-year-old baby. So why is this having to do with the Pakistani um, community? I, I think as a community, we've got to reflect on why is it that there are people amongst us who think that white girls are worthless, who think they can use and abuse them in this abhorrent sort of way, and we've got to confront it. And I, I have to say to you, Nikki, Just white girls? I, I, I actually think that it's, it, it is a race issue, and I've no. been stopped. Uh, many times in the community, I live in Rochdale, um, uh, unlike some people who commentate on this and, uh, you know, economists and newspapers, uh, 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 that aspect. I live in a community and I can tell you that there is a, a problem with a minority of people who think that white girls are worthless. And uh, I, I think it's we not just white girls. Let's explore this a little bit more because, um, you know, you know, British Pakistanis have been saying exactly what he's saying. Some have been. Some are agreeing with you. There was uh, Alias uh, Kamani said some interesting things. He's an imam who's been working in this area for a long yeah. time. And you know him. Very well, yeah. And he's spoken about, he's used the phrase that there's a, there's a cultural dissonance. Now he said uh, they come from uh, a socially conservative rural culture with no emphasis on sexual gratification into a liberal, perhaps over-sexualized culture, our own culture. Explain that. I mean, you, you, before we ran a cup of coffee, you said we don't do sex. You know, we don't talk about sex. Yeah, I mean, that, that's a problem. Uh, we we don't show affection. So, for example, if uh, my mother and my late father, if they were in the same room, they wouldn't show affection to each other, even though they were husband and wife. And so, yes, as a, as a community, we've, we've got this baggage. But I, I would caution what Alias has said, and that is this the previous cases of second and third generation British Pakistanis who have yeah. been convicted, the Derby case for example last January, actually were born in the UK. So I think placing too much emphasis on the cultural baggage uh, is, is quite dangerous. Uh, is, is there any, uh, Raza, is there any cultural baggage here? Hey. Or, or are we, or, are we unfairly a vile, targeting a community? A vile degenerate person that will prey on young innocent girls does not take race into account. They go after girls, simple. And I think by saying, oh, they go after white girls only, is bang out of order because what you're doing is turning into a race issue when well, it clearly it, it isn't. It is a race issue. No, it isn't. No, what's happened? It's a race issue. What, what happens if a white person, when, a white woman see, rapes a you, white woman, then it's well, why is it not a race uh, issue then? Look because at, it isn't a race issue, okay. that's why. And it's important well, to realize oh. this because what you're doing is, is that you're diverting from the actual problem, which is that you have these vile degenerate men who are harming young girls. That's what we need to look at and not say, oh, because they're Pakistani, they're more likely to do this. No, that's rubbish. That's not the case. They picked up whatever girls they could. It just so happened they were white girls. You hear of cases when they went after Bangladeshi girls too. They'll go after girls because they want to target vulnerable people. It doesn't matter who they are, they don't look at race. Mohammed. Well, I, I, I think race is a central issue to this. If you look at the, if you look at the facts, I'm not going to talk about speculation uh, or uh, thingy, but if you look at the facts, 77 recent convictions of which 67 are Pakistani men. So as a Pakistani community, as a member of that community, we've got to be op or honest and open enough. One of the things that I call for in the Times newspaper commentary piece that I did this week was for the imams to speak out quite openly. Uh, I'm pleased to report that two of the um, main mosques in Rochdale um, made some very powerful points okay, okay. Uh, in terms of the issue of grooming. Okay. So yes, we've got to deal with this. But okay, isn't it the case, you can look at it the other way, is the case that young white girls are more likely to be out on the streets at night, so some people might say, okay, white communities need to get their act together. So, that, that, I suppose that was the second part of my argument in my piece, that 
As a community, we've got to reflect on why is it that white girls are wandering the streets at two, three o'clock in the morning. How can you just blame Julie this, Bender. Is Bender. Julie Bender. this is absolutely victim blaming. Exactly. Well, you I cannot look at uh, young, respect. vulnerable girls. I, I absolutely take your point, Mohammed, that you know communities need to get their house in order. Every single community needs to get its house in order <laughs> because it is cultural. The culture that affects young girls. Um, and enable sexual predators to abuse them is called patriarchy and sexism. Yeah. There is no culture in this world where girls are valued on par with boys. And I'd like to say this, why did nobody talk about the endemic sexual abuse of children and adult women by uh, the clergy as a white problem? Yeah. You know, there's no such thing um, as as a Pakistani well, it was, it problem. Was, Julie, sorry to interrupt, it was spoken about as a Catholic problem and lots of people said the Catholic Church needs to get its act but together. But we didn't talk about white men abusing white children. We talked about men abusing children. And the way, the way that I'd like to look at it is yeah. this. There is no question that some police have been reluctant to act upon these cases involving Pakistani child abusers uh, because they feared of being labelled racist. And that's something for white people to look at. Because if we're so scared about being called racist, that we allow 15-year-old girls to be prostituted and raped, then there's something wrong with white people yes. as well. <laughs> Richard, no, no, Richard, you've been, you've been on this for a, a long time. You've been writing about this for, for, for a long time, haven't you? I mean, is yeah. there anything in this? Is there I, any, Andrew, is there any cultural baggage here? I think, the firstly, let's get the facts right. right. The vast majority of child sex offenders in this country are white men acting on their own. If you look at offences where the victims are prepubescent, where the victims are boys, where the abuse is within the family. Um, again and again, it's white men acting alone. W w what is very different about this, and w when, the, when the government ordered an assessment last year mm. of street grooming, or, 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 or mm. they, they found that in a country that's 6% Asian, 46% of all offenders were, were Asian. And when it came to groups, it was actually over half in a country that's 6% Asian. And, and, and the difference here is that this has become a normalized group activity. And, and the reason why you wouldn't get that, and I don't think there have been any prosecutions involving groups of white men, is, is, is these people, are, this is not an organised crime gang, the case in Rochdale, these were respected members of the community. This was an activity carried out between work colleagues and friends and relatives. Mm -hmm. Girls were being shared around. You couldn't do that in, in the white community. You may have an awful lot of paedophiles, you do. But if you, if you shared that among colleagues at work with friends, there would be somebody that would say, hang on a second, there's something wrong here. And that's the mindset that needs really? to be challenged. So, and well, okay, okay. No, wait, what is that mindset then? Are you, are you maintaining? That's, that's a mindset that has normalised the degrading abuse of young teenage girls. And surely the most important question is here, it's not a mindset that is anything except among a very small criminal subsection of the of the Pakistani community, and the only people who are going to solve yes, it is the Pakistani community, community. It's not just Pakistani problem. So Sunil is saying Raz is very strongly coming back on that. No, you say the thing is, you saying it's always a Pakistani modus operandi when it comes to abusing young children. That's why you seem to keep, are you keep getting that? it. I'm saying a criminal subsection. I'm saying there are some no, very... No, it's a criminal problem within society, not within the Pakistani community. Within society, there's a problem. That's how we have to look at it. And when you keep focusing on race, what you're doing is we keep diverting from the fact what support mechanisms do we have in place for these young girls. And, and what we do is by focusing on race, we take away from the actual saying what actual issues and what is wrong in society that we all need to deal with. Not just saying, oh, you Pakistanis have got a problem. You better deal with it. We're going to come back next year and talk to you about it. We have to all deal with it. Um, um, now, Sunny, I know you want to come in. I'll come to you in a second. But well, I, 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 I do think that one reason uh, why uh, these girls were all white is that the Asian girls, Muslim girls, Pakistani girls are better protected uh, by their families. And if, if it were that this gang had uh, sort of got involved with Asian girls, it may be that they would have finished up with a throat cut. What's well, so the thing is, you uh, say so that, but that's so not they necessarily can true, I though. Finish? Can I just finish? This would have, can I just finish what I'm saying? Uh, because, you know, I've spent true. about 16 years working on this sort of thing uh, as a Member of Parliament in Keithley. And I worked on a, a case, well, cases, uh, 10 years ago. So, and it was identical to what has actually uh, been put before us this last week. 
Now, why on earth Greater Manchester Police is saying that they've no experience, didn't know anything about this, mm. I wouldn't know because it's 10 years ago since I was dealing with it. So I can only suggest that there was an element of political correctness, but, but to... a, a, a reluctance to talk about it. But I, I, I do think we have to take into account the fact that there is a certain uh, machoism in many parts of the Pakistani community. Of, of which culture, is, in many cultures, it, not it just is Pakistani a, culture. Well, you um, keep um, focusing on that, which is bang out of order, because saying Pakistanis have this thing where they think, oh, women are below. Well, hang on, you can look within the British society, the pay culture, sorry. women are paid less. That shows the women are treated mm. less than I'm men. I'm sorry. Um. Can I just tell you something that happened in Bradford? In order to get women Asian councillors, we had to have a rule that stopped the Asian men selecting more men to contest their seats. I mean, that's the, and, and we now have, I think, five excellent women Labour councillors who are Asian. And I, I think they're to protect okay. you have to do Julie, that. Julie, first of all, because let's get back to the victims. I mean, Julie, you wanted no. to talk about the victims. Indeed, and, and I mean, I agree with much of what you say, and I also Don't very worry. much respect the work that you've done on this issue, because it needs exposing, just like in the Orthodox Jewish community, just like in white monolithic culture. The case in New York culture. at the moment. Indeed. Yeah. Mm. But the, the problem that I have with the idea that Asian girls are better protected in the home is that most child sexual abuse occurs in the home. Yeah. And this is hidden and it's endemic. And we have a problem with the devaluing of girls in every single culture. And I do think that there are problems within certain cultures where there is a fundamentalist religion. Of course, it's worse for women. Yeah. But I wouldn't use the term protected for those girls in the home. They're kept from going out onto the streets. But many of them are abused within the home. No, I agree. So, I, mean, I, mean, I perhaps use the wrong word. Hand the whole discussion is that this focus on the word community. There is no homogenous Pakistani community any more than there is a homogenous white community mm. or an Asian community. Yeah. So what you're saying is basically the, the, way, the frame of the question is, mm. well, the, the Pakistani community should get its house in order, which is a completely stu silly idea because people don't want to go out and police their own communities. That is the job of the police, that is the yes. job of the social services and the, and, the, and the CPS to deal with this issue and that's where they have failed, no doubt about it. But this idea that the, uh, the community should police itself just yeah. opens itself up to more abuse because what you'll have then is local community leaders. Now this is the same case you mentioned about the Jews, uh, uh, Jewish community in, in New York. New York. Mm. In that case, what happened was the Orthodox uh, rabbi leaders themselves went to the police and said, we'll deal with this problem in our own That's community. Mm. Right? Yeah. And so actually Similar made it worse. to the Catholic Church, wasn't it? Exactly. Yes. So actually what you're doing is if you make it into a community thing, if you make it into a cultural thing, you're making it worse because what you're saying is essentially that the community leaders have to deal with this, and that should be the last people Mohammed, to deal with it. Mohammed, no, I, I so mean, it's counterproductive, yes, Mohammed. It, well, I, I just think we've got to take a step back and say, well, let's look at the facts. You know, I hear what Raza says and I hear what Sunni says, but the reality is that we've we've got a problem. Just let me finish, no, Raza. No, I think no, I think no, with respect. When you say the facts, if you let me finish, that's not true. If you, with respect, if you let me finish, with respect, if you let me finish, I've listened to you calmly, and if you allow me to make my point. that calmly. But the point is that we've got a problem. Mm. I mean, just look at the facts. I'm not going to go by speculation and those have been and arrested. I'm going by convictions. 77 recent convictions, of which 67 are Pakistani men. We've got a problem. But yeah, as Sunni said, we've got to look at a wider context. The wider context is this week, we saw eight men convicted of child abuse in Edinburgh. Um, so does the, the Scottish no community, mention, no, does the no Scottish mention, community need no to get its and need, about the race issue, No mention, we? no mention whatsoever in the newspapers. So I think we've, mm. we, we've got to be very careful in how we deal with this. And look, we, I understand this, I understand we've got a problem. And actually I think with, with, with respect, as a community, mm. the Pakistani community in Rochdale has been very vocal. You've been accused of playing this. into the hands of the BNP and other Well, groups. I think I've stopped the BNP. The BNP were due to come to Rochdale yesterday. They not turned up to Rochdale. Yeah, and I think that's a, a direct result. Sorry, sorry, what did you say? Wait, 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 wait. What did you say? In some, ways you're, doing, in some ways, you're helping them. You're giving the platform anyway to that kind of thing. So. You are. I, 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 I think I'm by, not saying by dealing with this issue now, by dealing with this issue now, we've stopped the BNP. We're not dealing with this issue. Wait, 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 okay. Why is he in some way? Is giving, giving because them. making it into a race issue. I mean, he exactly. said it is a race, it's a race issue. issue. It's not a race issue. If you're saying it's a race issue and then you're suddenly pointing to a bunch of Scottish guys in, in Scotland doing that, that's also a race issue. If you're then talking about Irish Catholics abusing uh, young kids, why isn't it Irish Catholic 
cultural or race yeah. issue. It's the a male point issue. is, yeah. it's a male issue. And that is that the culture across the board in a lot of communities is we're going to abuse it. And once we, the, the kids get abused, then they hide it. So this idea that it's a cultural issue then means well, why have any we cultural this aspects to this that are relevant? Yes or no? Look. There are conservative elements in any, every culture, and if you get a situation where kids are uh, sort of uh, 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 the people in those communities, the so-called community leaders or certain people who are criminals are protected, that's a problem in itself. Uh, 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 yeah, and the, re the reason why this is a cultural problem is because, unlike, I suspect, what happened in Edinburgh, here you had people who, in the opinion of Muslim, British, Pakistani professionals, close to that case had a schizophrenic existence where conduct that would have been unthinkable with girls from their own community was, was, was somehow morally finish. acceptable. Let, it, let, it finish. Was, let, it finish. let me finish. Sonny, Sonny, please let, let me finish. finish. Yeah. Somehow became morally acceptable with corrupted white girls. And it's not just white girls, it's what's available. And in this country, out on the streets, it does tend to be white girls who are, who are seen. But, but the fact is, I'm working, I'm working with a so family in the West written. Midlands, so, which is, oh, I'm working with a, oh, they don't really care. I'm so working with a family in the Midlands, okay, which, Andrew. which and is a Sikh, Sikh. I'm, 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 saying it's Andrew. I'm working with a family in the Midlands, a Sikh family, whose daughter has been through exactly the same process, a, an absolutely desperate process. I do think there are hidden stories that haven't come out yet, but I do again think, I'm afraid, if you have an attitude that something is permissible with one section of, the, of this society and not permissible Wait, with your own, and I am not saying that is the majority, I'm saying it's a mi no, minority. You, Sorry. you make a generalization and then you say, well, it's a minority, not a majority, therefore the, the generalization does not stand. Look, most Muslim women in the UK are abused by Muslim men. You know why? Simply because most rape happens within families. Mm. So this idea that somehow they see one uh, class of women or one group of women as untouchable yeah. another yeah, I'm not going to rape you I'm going to rape it's her. just completely that idiotic uh, some of the women abused in these cases were Bangladeshi women exactly. so you mm -hmm. know this idea that they are specifically picking out English women and then trying to rape them is silly because if they had the opportunity to exploit uh, Muslim women or Pakistani women from those communities they would do it they would. and that they actually would, happens would a lot and cry they would this is what I was trying to say that the communities in our northern towns uh, would jump on such characters very, very quickly indeed if it was found out that they were having relationships of this type. It would be self uh, with, with, Well, I, I won't go as far as saying. Uh, which they should, yes, they would self police, and I, I'm not in favour of that. Uh, I, I think. I think well, well, let you well, expand on her argument, and then. Can I just finish what I'm saying? For goodness sake. Uh, uh, what, what's been said already is that we have to uh, look to the communities themselves, not to police, but just to change attitudes. Of course. That's no one's all I'm asking for. No one's saying. That's not me. I'm sorry, but there's been several cases where cases of rape by people from those communities have been, hid have been hidden away. So this idea that if Muslim women get raped by Muslim men, that they would get their throat cut, or, uh, cut, or cut off, or that the men would police their own communities mm. is silly, because mm -hmm. actually there have been yeah. loads of cover-ups within yes. the communities. There have been cover-ups even within madrasas. So there was a report mm. about mm. 10 years ago by a bunch of Muslim clerics saying, look, we have yeah. child abuse within our c uh, communities. We need to deal with this problem. So. It's not hidden away. I mean, it is hidden away, and actually, there is a lot of cover-up. So this idea that actually, but these are if about, Muslim surely girls, about attitudes to, to, to women that fester in all sorts of society. communities. In it's the point. Hands are up. Okay. Good morning to you. Morning. I, I think it's really dangerous. I think it's really dangerous to create an atmosphere where you you sort of use race as a determining factor when you're talking about criminality. These are criminals, and it's been said by a number of people that we need to focus on their criminality. Yes, there are common shared values amongst these criminals that got them working together to mm. do what they did. However, it is, you, you can't label a whole community by that um, any more than, than you could when you're talking about gun crime or anything else. Oh, so, okay, and over here, let's go up to you. Mon yeah, I, I agree. I agree with what you're saying, but um, it, these things are multifaceted, so you cannot at the same time ignore the race issue because, it, it, 
like, the, the facts have been given. Why is the race issue relevant? Do you think? Because there's clearly an issue within within that community where the, the facts are that 67 convictions have been okay, done in that community. I, co I come from Derby, and there has been convictions in Derby, and there are issues within that community. You can't just ignore them. No We're not. Nobody's saying. No, no nobody's saying, saying don't do anything but about the, the it. But could this ignore happen? It. This kind of guy is there. Do you think this kind of should it, this kind of gang could happen anyway? Could it, it happen? Can, of course, could it, it happen can. in your community. Of course, it can. Right. So of course, it probably does. It does happen. But gangs. They're making money. We talk about child sexual abuse, and that's right. But what they're also doing is actually passing the girls around for money. There are men who are willing to pay for sex from a child, and, and, and that's something that and we need to address. And raping them repeatedly. It's Absolutely just horrific. horrific. Let's not lose sight yeah, of that. You know, that, uh, Raza, you wanted no, to come thing back. Is a simple Freedom of Information request into West Yorkshire Police shows that with 53 grooming cases, 47, of, so five cases were, were Asian, the rest of 47 were, um, were white. The thing is, this thing of saying, oh, what we've done is, there's 67 or so cases, we're saying, let's extrapolate from that, it's a Pakistani problem. How can you extrapolate from a small data where you have, we have research groups who've actually spent time on this, saying the data is not reliable enough to extrapolate that it's a Pakistani problem. And then you have people, well, commentators, Andrew. saying that it is a Pakistani uh, problem. I, 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 I've, already, I've already said, if you, if you look at online grooming, it's something like 95% white people of all ages, of all backgrounds. That, you know, from 18 to 80, Oxford dons to road sweepers. There is a very specific model going on. It's set down roots for 20 years in the North and the Midlands. And, and you know, we, we seem to have agreed that everybody would like to change the mindsets of the individuals who are carrying out these offences. And, and I just think, Nazir Afzal, who you quoted at the mm, start of the, the programme, when he was talking a few years ago about forced marriage, another issue when there was consideration of a new law coming in, he said some people are saying this is just going to be another stick to beat the Muslim community. I'm saying we should be carrying our own stick. And in, in, a, in a society where the police, social services, everybody in authority is too scared to confront what's going on and admit that there is, that there, that there is a, a need to understand it, then the only people who are really going to get to grips with it are, are, are the brave people like Mohammed Shafiq, like Nazir Afzal, like Alias Kamani, who are standing up and saying, this is wrong. We, we have to thank you all very much indeed. We have to, we have to, we have to leave it there. If you, if you would like to have your say about that debate, log on to bbc.co.uk slash the big questions. You'll find links to continue the discussion online. And we're also debating live.